tell yourself it is working for my what? It is working for my good. Second Corinthians chapter 12, 9 to 11. Look at what the Bible says there. Paul, like I always say, is a man. If, if you want to talk about a man that understands Greece and that works in Greece, I always recommend Paul. Go and read his letters. Amen. Amen. It could only have been Greece. Paul was the last apostle in that, in that time. The, I mean, among those people that Jesus chose by himself. Are you getting my point? In fact, he was not even one of them. It was after Jesus had died, resurrected, resurrected and gone to heaven that he spoke to Paul, that he chose him. So, so saw himself as, uh, Paul saw himself as the least of all the, uh, all the apostles. But yet, what could bring a man from the back seat and place him in the front? <laughs> it's what grace. Look at what it says, verse 9. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 to 11. It says, And he has said to me, My grace is sufficient for you. For power is perfected in weakness. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> so whenever the devil is trying to weaken you, it's only setting you up for what? Grace. It's setting you up for grace. Because as long as you can still undo it, you don't need grace, right? Mm. And he said, I want to sit down now. I need the grace. Mm. Sit down. Oh, you just sit down, right? Mm. But whenever something that looks bigger than you comes, I know someone, somebody else will just say, Oh, they cry. No, no, no. But that's not you, man. Yeah. That's not you. The person that works in the realm of all possibilities, the person that is unstoppable, will just say, God, over to you. I trust you. I know you're my ever-present help in time of trouble. I'm working, I'm coming out of this with my testimony. My wife was just reminding me of a testimony this morning. Of an exam she took, a professional exam she took her work, right? The first time she did it, she didn't pass the exam. She was telling me yesterday night that there were so many people at the place of work that's been working in that place for years before she got there that did not even near the exam. Because they were afraid of failing. And she tried it the first time, right? She didn't pass. But by faith, she gathered herself up again. Let me tell you something. Naturally, please, not, just take note of my word. Naturally, it's not easy to go back to where you have failed before. I'm telling you the truth. You don't want to, even if you are going to go somewhere else, do something else, not that particular thing. It takes supernatural strength. Amen. It takes grace to go back. But she contacted grace through faith. We all know that grace will just be looking at you and be smiling at you until you apply what? Faith. And she did it and she passed. She told me one of us seniors there that colleagues that have been there she just did the exam and failed, and I asked her, ah, she, that person now had that she passed the exam. And I said, ah, so how did you study for you? How did you do this? Grace, 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 grace. And when, when I'm weak, that is when grace finds its way. <laughs> Why? Because grace will always point towards God, giving him the glory. Amen. That is the purpose of grace. Grace is so that you will not boast in yourself. Grace is so that you will know, the whole world will know, that it is God that did this one. So when you're weak, that's where grace steps in. As long as you can do it, and you feel competent, <laughs> Grace will fold his arms and be looking at you. But maybe suddenly a familiar road became a strange route. That you begin to look at and say, I don't understand this again. I thought I knew how to handle it. And you now step over to grace. By what? Faith. Hmm. Grace. Someone is walking by grace. Amen. Of course, the devil cannot bring down a woman of grace. It's not possible. Somebody says, I'm a man of grace. I'm a woman of grace. Thank you for helping me. So I don't have to say, somebody say. <laughs> somebody say, I'm a woman of grace. I'm a woman of grace. Uh -huh. So the man says, I'm a man of grace. 
And look at what it says. It says, most gladly, therefore, I will rather boast about my weaknesses, <laughs> so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Therefore, I am well content with weaknesses, <laughs> with insults, <laughs> with distresses, with persecutions, with difficulties, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Then I'm strong. Has it ever happened to you? Let me use this song in question some of us. Sometimes when you want to do something for God, you feel weak. Do you know what? Just say, Lord, I trust you. Step into it. I'm telling you there will be supernatural strength. That will be supplied to you. You'll be surprised. You'll be amazed. That's grace. That is grace. Oh, grace is so exciting. Oh, I'm telling you. When you begin to walk in grace, it's so sweet. You know this is not your power. <laughs> How many of you love to be carried? No wonder. They jump in. I said, "Big boy, big boy." I said, "Big boy." Everybody loves you. I can't blame him. That's what that's what grace does. Grace is God carrying you. Hey, grace is God. What? Carrying you. It is not just you anymore. It is not you trying to do it. Has it, has it ever happened? I don't. Well, now you know. In those days, when you see. A car is not working and you're trying to push the car. You know, say, hey, little boy, come and help me push. And then the dad is there pushing the car. You know, I feel like, yes, I'm the one pushing it. <laughs> that is grace. Grace is not you pushing it. Amen. Amen. Grace is not you pushing it. Say, how oh, you the cope now, the pusher. Ah, ah, that's not grace. That's not grace. Amen. Amen. Stop pushing it. Let God push it. <laughs> Let God what? Push it. That's grace. But grace, like I said, grace work by what? Faith. So until you apply your faith, grace will not be activated. Amen. Amen. So grace was what Abraham enjoyed when he was able to what? Impregnate his wife and the wife enjoyed grace by carrying the baby. Grace. That's grace. It, it wasn't them. It was grace. It was grace. Abraham enjoyed grace before the dispensation of grace. Because he operated by faith. Even Moses, that God established the law through, he, enjoyed, he asked for grace. He said, if I have found grace in thy sight, show me your way that I may find grace in Why did they say, show me your ways that I find grace? Show me your way. Because when I know your word, and I know your way, then I can do it. It is the doing it that makes grace to work for you. Amen. Amen. Somebody by faith is stepping into financial favor. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Financial grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Stop calculating now. Because somebody's calculating now. Stop calculating. Just do the word. Somebody say do the word. Do the word. Keep sewing. Pay your tithe. That reminds me, some of you don't pay your tithe. At least you don't pay it here. I don't know where you pay it somewhere else. You don't pay it here. It's dangerous. It's, that's not faith. You are still calculating. But don't remove the one tenth. Ah! That project will not be completed. Oh, okay. I will pay it later. God, I'm owing you. Don't owe God do. Because the next time you forget, you will have. You have forgotten. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But because God is so merciful, you know now, sometimes we want to take advantage of our daddy. You know you will forgive me. I know. He will forgive you. He loves you. But there are some things that will not work because principle has been set in place. If I don't tell you this, I, won't, I, I don't love you if I don't tell you this. Amen. Amen. That is the way you can show your what? Faith. And that's how grace can be activated. Amen. Amen. Do you still love me? Yes. Okay. yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I'm trying to rush this so that we can, we can. Oh. Thank you, Father. Boy, is somebody getting blessed this morning? Amen. You're unstoppable. One of the ways you can walk in the realm of unstoppability 
Amen. Amen. What's going on there? Don't distract me. Amen. Amen. It's through your mouth. Amen. A lot of times people, they snare themselves with their mouth. They stop themselves with their mouth. Amen. Amen. Matthew 22, 15. Then the Pharisees went out and laid plans to trap him in his own words. Amen. They wanted to trap Jesus with his own words. His own words. You will not be trapped with your words in Jesus' name. Amen. Proverbs 18, 21. Verse 20 says, with the fruit of a man's mouth, his stomach will be satisfied. He will be satisfied with the product of his lips. He said, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruit. He who, well, he who finds the wife and a good thing. Amen. Amen. I'll take favor from the Lord. No, but that's not what we're talking about here this morning. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, stop killing yourself. Stop killing your business. Stop killing your, Stop killing your progress. You are unstoppable. You are unstoppable. Somebody will wake up in the morning and say, I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. You wake up in the morning, declare it. I don't care what dream you had. You know, I always emphasize dream because I know. Let me tell you something. A man's strength, a lot of times, is what the devil uses against him. I'm a seer. I see things. I may not tell you some things, but I see things. Quite a number of times, because I am a seer, amen, amen. I have dreams. So when it comes to dreams, I, I don't know how many of you that dreams like me, I dream a lot. Mm -hmm. So I've learned to know the dream that comes from God and the one that does not come from God. Mm -hmm. I know the ones that came because I ate too much ever before I slept. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I can tell you, immediately I have, I know where this one is coming from. The first question you should ask yourself whenever you have a dream is ask, where is this coming from? First question. Before you start believing it, why do you want to believe lies? But you know, whatever you believe, whether it's a lie or the truth, you have empowered. 